Good evening and welcome. Tonight we're going to be continuing this book, Countries of the World. And tonight's continent is Europe. We're going to read facts about every country in Europe. So this will be a long one. Let's just dive right in. We're starting off with the United Kingdom. Start down here and read the little facts. Off the northwest coast of Europe lies the United Kingdom, or UK, which consists of four small countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. This island nation is steeped in history. The UK is famous for its royal family, theatre, modern music, and red buses. A little fast facts down here. Geography. The highest mountains lie in Scotland and Wales, while the Pennines are known as the Spine of England. Pretty sure that's how you say that, but no, if I'm wrong. History. The UK was one of the first nations to grow its economy as a result of the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century. Culture. Cricket, rugby, and soccer were first played in the UK. British literature, music, and theatre are popular worldwide natural wonders. These include the Lake District in England, Loch Ness in Scotland, and Mount Snowdon in Wales. Up here we have a flag fact. The flag of the UK is known as the Union Jack. Coming off here we have the Giant's Causeway, which this shows you where it's located on the map. These spectacular hexagonal basalt columns on the coast of Northern Ireland were formed from volcanic lava 50 million years ago. It's that the basalt columns are said to look like stepping stones for giants, hence the name. Medieval Strongholds The UK has many castles, the fortresses of ancient monarchs and nobles. The well-preserved 13th century Harlech Castle is one of many in Wales. I haven't heard of that pretty sure I probably said that wrong because it's probably some weird, complicated Welsh pronunciation. Let me know about that one too. Caribbean Carnival. London is a multicultural city and its annual Notting Hill Carnival is a celebration of Caribbean culture. Millions flock to enjoy the live music, dancing, and colorful parades. Cream tea. An afternoon tea of scones, homemade jam, clotted cream, and a cup of hot tea is a national treat. Here's the Channel Islands. Guernsey, Jersey, and the other islands in the English Channel are self-governing. Pure, beautiful picture, right? Rugged landscape. The UK countryside consists of green rolling hills, moors, and rocky coastline. Scotland is known for its rugged mountains and unspoiled wilderness, such as that on the Isle of Skye. High-pitched pipes. Playing bagpipes in traditional dress is a custom in Scotland and Ireland. Bagpipes were once played on battlefields to scare enemy troops. Sherlock Holmes. Scottish writer Arthur Conan Doyle created the famous fictional detective Sherlock Holmes, hero of the Hound of the Baskervilles novel. Angel of the North. Standing 65 feet tall, this landmark steel sculpture by British artist Anthony Gormley has dominated the skyline in northeast England since 1998. Super City. The Thames River flows through London, one of the oldest major cities in the world, and now a buzzing metropolis with nearly 9 million people. There's the Shard. You know how long it's been I've been to London? The Shard was not even built when I that's how long it's been. I'm way overdue. All right. uh, next we have, if I can slide this over properly, Ireland. Once part of the United Kingdom, Southern Ireland, where most people are Roman Catholic, became independent in 1921. Northern Ireland, where people are mainly Protestant, remains part of the UK. Looking up here, folk instruments. Folk music is embedded in Irish tradition. The main instrument is the violin, also known as a fiddle. 
There's the run three, low whistle, tin whistle, and three quarter. Blackthorn. Native to Ireland, this prickly, hardy shrub grows white flowers in spring and blackberries in fall. Trinity College. Founded in 1592. Almost said 1952. My goodness. 1592, this world-famous university in Dublin has educated many celebrated Irish, ri Irish writers such as Bram Stoker and Oscar Wilde. I can't talk tonight, apparently. Gaelic football. In this action-packed Irish team sport, players can kick, catch, or throw the ball. The Skellig Island. Off the southwest coast of Ireland are two rocky islets, providing a safe haven for seabirds such as gannets and puffins. And step dancing. Performed since the 19th century, this traditional Irish dance form involves a straight body and fast foot movements. Next we're going to Iceland. A remote island in the northern Atlantic Ocean, Iceland lies just south of the Arctic Circle. It is known as the Land of Fire and Ice because of its many active volcanoes, lava fields, geysers, and hot water springs. Ice Caves Vatna Jokul is among the largest glaciers in Europe. In summer, channels of melting water flow under the surface of this glacier, cutting through the ice, creating enormous caverns. Puffins of the Atlantic Native to the Atlantic Ocean, puffins are strong swimmers that live at sea but head for breeding colonies on land every spring. Their colorful beaks have earned them their nickname, the Sea Parrots. That's cute. Here's Halgrenskirke. The unusually shaped Hallgrimskirke is the tallest church in Iceland and was completed in 1986. It stands 243 feet tall, and the view from the top of the spire gives a spectacular view of Reykjavik. Look at that shape. Awesome. Here are some Icelandic horses. Viking settlers brought these horses to Iceland during the 9th and 10th centuries. Small and stocky in size, the breed is hardy and tough and capable of crossing any terrain. And the Aurora Borealis. Also called the Northern Lights, this incredible light display is often visible on clear nights in Iceland. The natural phenomenon is caused by solar winds hitting oxygen and nitrogen atoms high up in the Earth's atmosphere. And next, we're going to Norway read about it first. The dramatic landscape of Norway is a wilderness of icy glaciers and deep fjords, which are sea channels surrounded by cliffs. Two-thirds of the Norwegian landscape is covered by rugged mountains. About 50,000 tiny islands lie off its long, craggy coastline. Fjord view. Standing about 2,300 feet above Lake Ringedalsvatnet, the cliff edge of Trulltunga, offers a breathtaking view of the surrounding fjords. Troll warning. Mythical trolls are considered lucky in Norway. They can be seen on signs, but are mostly found as souvenirs. On the hunt. In Norway's forests, solitary wolverines hunt down large prey, including moose and goats. The Sami people. Thousands of indigenous Sami people live in northern Norway, where they herd reindeer, fish, and farm the land. A little baby reindeer. The Hedal Stave Church, which is right there. In medieval times, many churches constructed of timber walls on wooden corner posts, known as staves, were built in Norway. Only 28 survive today. The, lo the church at Hedal is the largest. How did I read that sentence backwards in my I read the largest churches. Anyway, moving on. Cross-country skiing. Snow covers much of Norway in winter, and cross-country skiing is popular for exercise, sport, and to get around. Next, we're checking out Denmark. 
Denmark is the southernmost Scandinavian country, made up of the flat landscape of the Jutland Peninsula and more than 400 islands. Statistical studies often show that the Danish people are among the happiest in the world. Starting off with the traditional Faroese houses. Turf roofs are a familiar sight on the volcanic Faroe Islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, about 900 miles from Copenhagen. Isn't that charming? Fun in the city. Founded in 1843, Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen is the second oldest amusement park in the world. Here visitors enjoy rides and games. Danish design. A clean, simple style of architecture and furniture design developed in Denmark in the 20th century. A classic example of this is the iconic egg chair by the Danish designer Arne Jakobsen. Cozy way of life. The Danish word higa, which I've always said higa, I hope I'm right. The Danish word higa describes a cozy mood when family or friends gather together to share food and drink in a comfortable setting. Danish sandwich. A traditional Danish open sandwich called smorbrod is rye bread layered with meat or fish and other toppings. Viking drinking horn. The Viking Danes were part of the seafaring people who lived in Scandinavia in the Middle Ages. They used animal horns to make drinking cups and musical instruments. At the Orsund Bridge. Sweden and Denmark are linked across the Orsund Strait. The Orsund Bridge carries cars and trains from the Swedish city of Malmö to an artificial island, which has a tunnel leading to Copenhagen in Denmark. Next, we have Sweden. The natural landscape of this Scandinavian country in northern Europe changes from the icy peaks of mountains such as Kebnekaise, past rolling hills and freshwater streams, to thousands of islands off its Baltic Sea coastline. Let's check out medieval Stockholm. Sweden's capital city is built across 14 islands. On one of them lies the medieval old town, known for its cobbled streets and colorful buildings. Very sweet dala horses. Since the 17th century, these decorative wooden horses have been handcrafted and sold throughout Sweden. The Nobel Prize. First awarded in 1901, the annual Nobel Prize recognizes major achievements in chemistry, physics, medicine, literature, and peace. The Ice Hotel. In 1989, the world's first hotel made entirely of ice was built near Kiruna in northern Sweden. Reindeer. Thick furry coats for warmth and strong hooves to dig out food make reindeer well-suited to the country's cold mountains, where they number in the thousands and herds kept by the indigenous Sami people. Very, very big antlers on this one. Kravskiva. For this traditional Swedish summer celebration, friends and family gather to feast on crayfish, often wearing themed paper hats. If you can't tell I've given up on the whole, I hope I said that right, just figure I'm saying that for the rest of the video. I don't have to say it every time. Climate activism. If I mispronounce something, just correct me in the comments, okay? I don't mind being corrected. Climate activism. In 2018, at age 15, Greta Thunberg found world recognition when she stopped going to school and sat outside the Swedish parliament, calling for action on climate change. Go, Greta, go. Next is Finland. Finland lies on the eastern edge of Scandinavia, on the border with Russia. With three quarters of the land covered in forests, it is the most densely forested country in Europe. There are also about 180,000 lakes. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of lakes. Slide over here. Let's see, telecom giant. In the 1990s, the Finnish company Nokia became a global telecommunications pioneer, selling millions of its Nokia cell phones. 
national icon through musical pieces such as Finlandia, the 20th century Finnish composer um, Jean Sibelius helped his country discover its national identity. It's, I never knew he was Finnish. Anyway, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Anyway, glass decor. Finland is known for its art and design, in particular for furniture, lighting, fabrics, and glassware, such as these glass birds. Grand Prix champ. Formula One driver Kimi Raikkonen has won 21 Grand Prix races. Let me read this so I don't skip it. Finnish summer. After a dark winter, families enjoy long sunny summer days by spending time at lakeside cottages. And dog sledding. Very good dogs. Very sweet. In winter, the Finnish countryside is perfect for dog sledding. This fun activity is enjoyed by young and old alike. In the past, dogs were used to transport goods or people across the snow. Next, we're going to some of the Baltic states, starting with Estonia. Estonia is the smallest of the three states on the Baltic Sea. It has many lakes and forests and is made up of more than 1,500 islands. Estonia is one of the world's most digitally connected countries, with almost all services available online. The Kopu Lighthouse. The oldest lighthouse in the Baltic states is Kopu, on the Estonian island of Hiuma. It has guided the way for ships since 1531. Very cute Siberian flying squirrel. Despite its name, this small species of squirrel leaps rather than flies through the Estonian forests to escape predators. Oh, delivery robots. Estonian engineers in Tallinn have designed self driving robots to deliver packages, shopping, or food. We have a couple of those around here, but they're extremely rare. It's not common to see those, but every once in a while. Estonian Song Festival. Every five years, this festival in Tallinn showcases a group of 25,000 singers and dancers for an audience of nearly 100,000. An old town in Tallinn. The capital of Tallinn has an old town known for its medieval architecture, including St. Olaf's Church, which is believed to have been built around the 13th century. Next is... Lithuania. Lithuania is the largest of the Baltic states. It was the last country in Europe to adopt Christianity. Like Estonia and Latvia, it gained independence from Russia in 1991. There were some white storks. The national bird of Lithuania is the white stork. There are more than 22,000 stork nests across the country. If I remember my research, this is where the, the mythology of storks delivering babies comes from, comes from Lithuania. St. Jonas' Festival On June 24th, Lithuanians celebrate this midsummer festival by singing, dancing, and wearing flower wreaths. Trakai Island Castle The picturesque castle sits on an island of Lake Galve, attached to the lakeshore by two bridges. And to round out the Baltic states, we have Latvia. Flag fact, but let's read this first. Latvia is known for its forests, beaches, and the Venta Rapid, the widest waterfall in Europe. The city of Ventspils in the country's northwest is one of the busiest ports on the Baltic Sea. Let's see the flag fact. According to one legend, the flag is the blood-soaked sheet of a Latvian soldier. Whoa. Latvian symbol. This is a lot prettier than a blood-soaked sheet. Latvia's national flower is the daisy, which grows wild in summer and is featured in floral displays and bouquets. Vibrant Riga. At the heart of the capital city of Riga is a medieval old town known for its striking architecture and bustling markets. Right, next, we're going to... Poland, which, let's 
speaking of me not being able to pronounce anything, I'm like the worst at Polish, so please forgive me. I'm going to mispronounce everything on this page. Just prepare for that, okay? Let's see. A large country in Central Europe, Poland is surrounded by seven other nations and the Baltic Sea. The north and central regions of the country are characterized by a vast plain, while to the south, the Carpathian Mountains mark the border with Slovakia. Poland's main industries are farming, manufacturing, mining, and shipbuilding. We've got some little fast facts over here, quite a lot of them. Geography. Poland enjoys a rich landscape of forests, mountains, lakes, rivers, and beaches. History. After World War II, Poland was allied to communist Russia. It became an independent republic in 1989. Culture. Traditions based on local folklore and the festivals of the Roman Catholic Church are part of everyday life. Natural wonders. The country is home to the vast Białowieża Forest and National Park, one of the largest and oldest forests in Europe. Wildlife. While bears are rare, wolves, bison, wild boar, elk, and foxes can all be found here. Birds include white storks and eagles. Food and drink. Dumplings, stews, and sausages are all popular Polish dishes, often served with sauerkraut or pickled cabbage. Let's first look at the white-tailed eagle. Poland's national bird is the white-tailed eagle. This large sea eagle is depicted on the national coat of arms wearing a crown. European bison. Although European bison were hunted to the point of extinction in 1921, Herds have successfully been reintroduced to Poland, especially in the Białowieża forest. I just give up on it. Corpus Christi. The small town of Jowicz comes alive on this public holiday as priests parade with crosses, flower girls throw petals, and families come together to share feasts. I like the national costumes here. Those are really pretty skirts. Anyway. Warsaw Reborn. Poland's capital was badly damaged in World War II, but the historic old town was reconstructed, and a bustling modern city has grown up alongside. The Mermaid. This statue of a mermaid is an iconic symbol of the capital. Legend goes that a Sirenka, or mermaid, swam up the Vyshla River to Warsaw and became captivated by the city. Let me take a break. Shlowinski <laughs> National Park. On the Baltic coastline, this national park features sweeping dunes that move due to strong winds, revealing the remains of centuries old forests. I know I have Polish viewers out there. I know who you are. Please help me. Please. Comment, please. Oh my gosh, please help me. Anyway, traditional dumplings. I know how to say this. At least, I know the American pronunciation. Popular in Poland, pierogi are savory dumplings stuffed with various fillings such as boiled potatoes and fried onions. Sounds delicious. Wieliczka salt mine. Located just outside Krakow, Wieliczka produced table salt for about 700 years before mining stopped in 1996. Today, people can visit the mine for attractions such as the Grand St. Kinga's Cathedral, carved entirely out of salt. The Wawel Royal Castle The 14th century castle of King Casimir III the Great overlooks the southern city of Krakow, known for its medieval center and Jewish quarter. Alright, once again, big apologies to the Polish viewers. On to Germany. Europe's fourth largest country is located in the northwest of the continent. Germany has the largest economy in Europe thanks to a thriving industry exporting cars, electronics, machinery, and other goods and services. The 
picturesque German landscape ranges from forests and mountains to rivers and valleys. Some little fast facts over here. Geography. The flat lands of the north lead to the North Sea, while in the center and south are highlands, forests, and rivers. History. Germany was divided into East and West Germany after World War II. The two countries reunited in 1989. Culture. Known as the land of poets and thinkers, Germany is recognized for art, philosophy, and literature. Natural wonders. Among Germany's most scenic spots are Jurach Waterfall in Swabian Alp and Lake Koningsee in Bavaria. Wildlife. Wild cats and ibex roam in the nature reserves in the south, while the north coast teems with fish and seabirds. Food and drink. Best known for sausages and specialty baked breads, the country also produces fine wines and beers. Let's start off with, sorry, start off with Beethoven. The 18th century German composer Ludwig von Beethoven is remembered for many great musical works. Other famous German composers include Johann Sebastian Bach and Johannes Brahms. The Black Forest With evergreen trees and beautiful lakes, the Black Forest is popular with tourists. It got its name from the dense conifers that appear almost black from afar. Soccer fans the most popular sport in Germany is soccer. The national team has won the World Cup four times. Oh, and also no comments about how it's actually called football. This is an American book. In America, we say soccer. I have no idea why we say soccer. We're like the only country that says soccer. That's something to look into. I wonder why that is. Anyway, Neuschwanstein Castle. In the 19th century, King Ludwig II of Bavaria commissioned a castle near Munich to honor, uh, in honor of composer Richard Wagner. The result was Neuschwanstein, a fairy tale castle with towers and turrets. Wind power. More than 30,000 turbines are installed in wind farms across Germany with plans for more. Beautiful Berlin. The capital has a turbulent past, divided by the Berlin Wall from 1961 to 1989. Today, this exciting city is known for galleries, museums, restaurants, and the Berlin Opera. German Folk Tales Brothers Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm published Grimm's fairy tales in the 18th century. This classic collection of folk tales includes Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Hansel and Gretel car production. Germany is a global leader in luxury car production with famous makers including Volkswagen, BMW, Audi, Porsche, and Mercedes-Benz. Look at this guy. Oktoberfest. Millions of people flock to this annual folk festival in Munich. Oktoberfest celebrates Bavarian history over two weeks with plentiful food, beer, music, and parades. Next is the Netherlands. Let's see what it says. Almost half of the low-lying Netherlands has been reclaimed from the sea, creating farmland for cultivating flowers and raising cattle. This flat landscape is known for its canals. Top team. The Dutch women's field hockey team is the most successful in history with eight World Cup wins. Great Masters The 17th century Dutch painter Rembrandt van Rijn is one of the country's great masters. His works include many self-portraits painted throughout his life. Dutch Tulips The Netherlands has been the center of the world's cut flower market for centuries. Anne Frank the famous Jewish diarist Anne Frank hid with her family in an Amsterdam building during World War II. And picturesque waterways. Amsterdam's canals were once used to trade goods in the city, but now boats use the waterways to carry tourists. And next is Belgium. 
While much of Belgium is flat, to the south it is rocky and forested. It is one of the world's most densely populated countries and is visited by millions of tourists for its canals and chocolates. Here is NATO. Based in Brussels, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, is a military alliance between 29 countries from Europe and North America. Belgian chocolates. Belgium is the world's leading exporter of chocolates, such as pralines and truffles. Tintin. Comic books by the Belgian cartoonist Hergé, featuring the adventures of Tintin, have sold more than 20 million copies since 1930. Here's the Atomium. Standing 335 feet tall, the Atomium is an iconic landmark and museum in Brussels. The nine spheres symbolize an iron crystal's atoms, magnified 165 billion times. Walking tall. In the past, locals had to walk on stilts due to floods, but now stilt walkers parade through cities just for fun. Next is France. France is the largest nation in Western Europe. The mainland is known as the Hexagon, while its island of Corsica was the birthplace of Napoleon, a famous leader. The capital, Paris, welcomes 20 million visitors every year. Let's see some fast facts. Geography. The country is bounded by the mountains of the Pyrenees and Alps, and has Atlantic and Mediterranean coasts. History. France was ruled by kings until the French Revolution of 1789, when the monarchy was overthrown. The country first became a republic in 1792. Culture. A leader in art, literature, film, and philosophy, France has world-famous museums such as the Louvre in Paris. Food and drink. Celebrated for its cuisine and fine wines, the country is famous for its variety of regional cheeses. Let's start over here with Edgar Degas. This bronze sculpture is by the 19th century French artist Edgar Degas. He is famous for realistic studies of ballet dancers, including pastels and paintings. Café culture. In French, café means coffee. While this Paris cafe is known for the artists and thinkers who met to discuss their ideas, most people simply drink and watch the world go by. The Tour de France. This grueling annual bicycle race was first held in 1903. It is made up of 21 stages over three weeks and covers 2,200 miles. Chateau de Chambourg. Built in the 16th century as a royal hunting lodge, this chateau near Orléans has more than 400 rooms. Chateaux such as this are the historic residences of France's nobility. Parkour. The sport of parkour was founded in the Paris suburbs in the 1980s. It is a way of moving freely over urban terrain by running, jumping, and climbing. Côte d'Azur. Beautiful resort towns such as Cannes, Nice, and Saint-Tropez are located along the part of the country's Mediterranean coast, known as the Côte d'Azur. Sweet treats. French pastries and sweets such as croissants, eclairs, and macarons are known throughout the world. Fashion capital. Paris has long been known as the fashion capital of the world is home to many of the big design houses, including Chanel, founded by Coco Chanel in 1920. The Eiffel Tower. Designed by the engineer Gustave Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower was built in Paris in 1889. It stands 1,063 feet tall and was the world's tallest building until 1931. The French perfume industry. France has been known for perfumes since the perfumers of Cras near Nice first extracted fragrance from flowers. And speaking of flowers, sunflower farming. Sunflowers are grown across southern France. Their heads are harvested for the seeds, which are pressed for oil. Next. 
going to Spain. Spain is separated from the rest of Europe by the Pyrenees Mountains to the north. In the south, Spain is just eight miles from Morocco, across the Strait of Gibraltar. In between range, 17 regions, each with its own character. Madrid, Europe's highest capital city at 2,200 feet, sits right in the center of the country. The Spanish Balearic Islands lie in the Mediterranean Sea, and the Canary Islands are found far to the south in the Atlantic Ocean. Some fast facts about Spain. Geography. A mountainous country with a central plain, Spain is wet and green in the north, and hot and dry in the south. History. Spain was divided by civil war from 1936 to 1939, and then ruled by a dictator until 1975, when the monarchy and democracy were restored. Culture. All over Spain, communities celebrate local festivals or fiestas throughout the year. Easter is marked by Holy Week. Food and drink. Spain has a rich cuisine of seafood and meat dishes, but it is also popular to eat a range of small plates, known as tapas. Let's head up here to check out this Moorish palace. The Alhambra is a magnificent fortified palace in the city of Granada. It was built by the Moors, Muslim settlers from North Africa who occupied parts of Spain until 1491. Here's the Canary Islands. Lying off the coast of northern western Africa, this Spanish archipelago is made up of seven volcanic islands. Fiery Flamenco. The flamenco dance originated in Andalusia, southern Spain. It features intricate arm movements, rhythmic footwork, claps, and often castanets. Seafood platter. This looks so First made in Valencia, paella is now popular throughout Spain. It contains rice, seafood, and vegetables, and is usually cooked in a wide, shallow pan over an open fire. La Sagrada Familia This unique church in Barcelona was designed by the architect Antoni Gaudi. Its construction began in 1882, and it is still being built. Tennis Champion the Spanish tennis legend Rafael Nadal has won 19 Grand Slam singles titles. Cathedrals Beach Erosion by wind and sea has sculpted dramatic rock formations resembling cathedral arches at this beach to the west of Gijon, Gijon? Gijon. in northwestern Spain. Sorry that the French popped out of me for a second. Las Fallas in this annual festival in Valencia, people remember St. Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters, with parades, music, and fireworks. Each neighborhood builds a sculpture called a falla, filled with firecrackers, which is eventually burned. Olive oil. Spain produces about half of the world's olive oil, more than any other country. And wild cats. Iberian lynx live in the mountains of southern Spain. Once on the brink of extinction, conservation projects have saved this solitary cat. Next is Portugal. Lying alongside Spain in the Iberian Peninsula in Europe, Portugal has a long, windswept Atlantic coastline. In the 15th and 16th centuries, explorers set out from here to discover the unknown lands to the west passing Cabo de São Vicente, Europe's southwesternmost point. More than 600 miles away in the Atlantic Ocean lie the Portuguese islands of Madeira and the Azores. Let's see. Fast facts. Geography. Portugal has more than 500 miles of coastline. It is rocky in the north, with most farmland in the south. History. Once a global empire, the monarchy was deposed in a revolution in 1910, and Portugal became a republic. Culture Portuguese traditions include fado music, melancholy songs accompanied by guitars, 
and popular festivals. Natural Wonders The Grutas de Mira de Aire caves near Leira and Madeira's local forests stand out for their beauty. Wildlife Iberian wolves and lynx roam the mountains, and wild boars and deer of the countryside. Dolphins swim the Atlantic waters. Food and drink. Portugal is famous for its sweet custard tarts and seafood dishes such as salt cod and grilled sardines. Let's start off with probably the most famous Portuguese person ever, Cristiano Ronaldo. This Portuguese striker from Madeira is one of the best known soccer players in the world. He has won four European Golden Shoes and the coveted Ballon d'Or five times. Lisbon's trams. Bright yellow trams, known as Remondelados, date back to the 1930s and still carry passengers around Lisbon's busy and often hilly streets. The Madeira Flower Festival. So pretty. Every spring, the flower festival takes place on the Portuguese island of Madeira. People wear flowers and decorate floral floats and parades through the city of Funchal. Record-breaking waves. Some of the biggest waves in the world break on the beaches of Nazaré on the coast west of Leiria. The annual surfing competitions held here are the ultimate test for surfers. Some of the islands of Portugal. The Portuguese islands of Madeira and the Azores in the Atlantic Ocean are volcanic in origin. There's the Madeira, there's the Azores. Decorative tiles. Glazed ceramic tiles known as azulejos are often used to decorate buildings. Most are blue, and some depict scenes from Portuguese history, such as on this wall at Porto Sabento Railway Station. Casa da Musica The unique Casa da Musica concert hall opened in the city of Porto in 2005. It can hold an audience of about 1,300 people. Portuguese rooster It's a big time for a rooster to start crowing. Of course he won't. According to local legend, roosters are considered lucky. Painted figurines of roosters are sold as souvenirs. Monument to the Discoveries This famous monument on the seafront in Lisbon honors key figures from Portugal's Age of Discovery, a period starting in the 15th century, when explorers, map, map makers, and scientists voyaged over oceans to find unknown lands. Palacio de Pena this brightly colored royal castle sits on a hill overlooking the town of Sintra to the west of Lisbon. Very beautiful. Right, moving on to some very small countries, it looks like. First up is Malta. The islands of Malta, Gozo, and Camuna, or Caminos, oh, Camino, together with smaller islets, form the country of Malta. Over the course of its history, this archipelago has attracted foreign powers, such as the Phoenicians, Romans, and British. Painted Boats Colorful Maltese fishing boats called Luzus can be seen in the popular fishing village of Marashlok. Maltese filigree. Yeah, I just covered Malta. My channel still haven't mastered Maltese. Maltese filigree. In the ancient art of filigree, artisans weave delicate jewelry from fine gold and silver threads. There's the Maltese cross right there. Eight-pointed cross. Blue Lagoon. Between Camino and Camuna and Camunet Island is a bay with clear turquoise waters that is popular with swimmers and snorkelers. I have never, ever, ever seen that island spelled that way. It's always Camino. Do you see? It says Camino. I'm not crazy. It says Camino. Anyway, moving on to Luxembourg. Landlocked Luxembourg is one of the tiniest countries in Europe, but also among the world's richest nations. Banking and insurance and a growing inter internet businesses and and a growing internet businesses make it very wealthy. Moulmernier. Despite being landlocked, mussels cooked in a white wine sauce is a popular dish in Luxembourg. Sounds spectacular. 
<laughs> love seafood. Bird whistles. Every Easter Monday, bird-shaped whistles are sold for the celebration of Hamishan. I don't know anything about Luxembourgish other than it's a weird sounding language. So I'm not gonna not gonna try. Virtues on the rock. Built between the 11th and 14th centuries, this grand castle stands high over the town of Yonden in northern Luxembourg. Moving on to Andorra. High in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain lies the small nation of Andorra. Many tourists visit the country for trekking and skiing and the ancient churches. Speaking of ancient church. Situated outside the capital of Santa Coloma d'Andorra, one of the oldest churches in the country, is Santa Coloma. Anyway, you know what I said. It dates back to the 8th century, but this tower is added in the 12th, apparently. Madriu Perfita Clerur Valley. This stunning steep-sided valley cut by a glacier not far from La Vega makes up about 10% of the country. Wow forest dweller. The mountain forests are home to European pine martens. They hunt small mammals and birds, and they're very cute. Next is Monaco. The world's second smallest country lies on the Riviera, the Mediterranean coastline in southern, southeastern France. Many of the wealthiest people in the world live here, since residents pay no income tax. The Monaco Grand Prix. Every year, the streets of Monaco are closed, so Grand Prix races can be held, such as Formula One and the GP2 race, shown here. Gleaming Coast. So pretty. Monaco's best-known neighborhood is Monte Carlo. Casinos and lavish hotels sit alongside a spectacular harbor. Next is... Italy. The boot-shaped country of Italy stretches 500 miles into the Mediterranean Sea, with a coastline of 4,600 miles. Its great cities such as Rome, Florence, and Milan are world-famous centers of historic art and architecture. Let's see some fast facts. Geography. The Italian peninsula extends from the mountains of the Alps in the north to the island of Sicily in the south. History. Once the heart of the Roman Empire, Italy fragmented into medieval city-states and kingdoms before unification as a country in 1861. Culture. Celebrated for its ancient and Renaissance art and architecture, Italy was also the birthplace of opera and is now famous for its movies and fashion. Food and drink. Italy's healthy diet is known for its pasta, tomatoes, olive oil, and fish, but has many regional variations based on local produce. Let's start off with one of my favorite foods ever, pizza. This famous flatbread baked with tomato, mozzarella cheese, and other savory toppings originated in Naples in the 18th century. The ruins of Pompeii. In 79 CE, the volcano of Vesuvius, near modern-day Naples, erupted, covering the city of Pompeii in ash. A visit to the site today is like traveling back to ancient Rome. A Vespa scooter. Italy's iconic motor scooter is popular with young people navigating the busy traffic in cities such as Rome. A Colosseum. The largest amphith amphitheater in the Roman Empire was the Colosseum. This dramatic location for bloody battles between gladiators still stands today in Rome. Michelangelo. This sculpture of Moses was made by the Italian Renaissance artist Michelangelo in 1504. They can't show the David one in this book. Spectacled salamander. Found only in southern Italy, this amphibian displays its red tummy to warn potential attackers. City of Islands and Waterways. The city of Venice was established on 118 islands in a lagoon in northern Italy. Gondolas and motorboats ferry people up and down the canals of the city. It 
Italian vineyards. Vineyards grow over the 20 regions of Italy, and the wine produced from their grapes is one of the country's major exports. Leonardo da Vinci. The Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci was also a scientist and inventor who drew this design for a flying machine in the 15th century. Tarantella. A folk dance for couples, the Tarantella has fast, lively steps. According to legend, this dance started out as a cure for hysteria brought on by a tarantula spider's bite. Parmigiano Reggiano. Known for its nutty taste, this hard cheese is grated over many pasta and rice dishes to add flavor. The Italian Grand Prix. This Formula One race has been held since 1921 on a racetrack near Monza, north of Milan. With 20 victories, Scuderia Ferrari is the most successful team on this circuit. At the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Measuring 183 feet on its highest side, this iconic tower began to lean as soon as construction started in 1173. Moving on to some other very small countries. The smallest, Vatican City. Located within the Italian capital of Rome is Vatican City, the smallest country on earth. This tiny city-state is home to the Pope, the head of the Roman Catholic Church. The Vatican Gardens, right here. More than half of Vatican City is made up of gardens, with many statues, fountains, and grottoes. The Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel was built in the Vatican Palace during the 15th century. The ceiling features vast wall paintings by the Italian artist Michelangelo. Pope Francis Born in Argentina in 1936, Pope Francis is the current head of the Catholic Church. See the Swiss Guard. Since the 16th century, armed guards in traditional uniform have protected the Pope and Vatican City. Coins from the Vatican the country adopted the euro as currency in 2000, but produces its own euro coins, some of which show the Pope. St. Peter's Square Up to 300,000 people are able to gather in St. Peter's Square to listen to the Pope speak. It takes its name from St. Peter, who Catholics consider the first Pope. Moving on to San Marino. The landlocked, mountainous nation of San Marino sits within Italy's borders and ranks among the world's smallest countries. Its constitution was adopted in 1600, making it one of the oldest republics. Stamps San Marino has produced its own stamps since 1877, and they are much prized by collectors. The Fortress of Goita. You can see right here. On top of the Mounty, the Mounty, on top of the lofty Mount Titano sits the fortress of Goita, which was built in the 11th century. It overlooks San Marino City. Piadina. An Italian specialty flatbread called Piadina is eaten throughout San Marino. It is folded and filled with delicious cheeses and meats. Sounds good. Looks like a little pita. Next is Liechtenstein. Too far. There you go. Between Austria and Switzerland is the small country of Liechtenstein. It is known for its mountain slopes, alpine villages, forests, and medieval ca ca castles. Well, my mouth really wanted to say capitals, but that's not what it says. It says castles. <laughs> medieval castles. Andreas Wenzel. The country's best-known athlete is Olympic and World Cup skier Andres Wenzel. And spring flowers. Look at that landscape. A mild climate allows wildflowers to grow in the alpine meadows of Liechtenstein in spring and summer. These include blue gentians and yellow globe flowers. And next is Switzerland. Speaking of the Alps. 
Nestled in the Alps and bordered by the Jura Range to the northwest, this country is famous for its ski resorts, but also for watches and chocolates, and as a center for banking. Here is the Matterhorn. The pyramid-shaped peak of the Matterhorn rises 14,692 feet high. It is the most recognizable mountain in the Alps. The Alpine Ibe. The rocky slopes of the Swiss Alps are home to the alpine ibex. These wild goats have padded hooves that make them expert climbers. Nuclear Research Located near Geneva, CERN is a major center for nuclear research. It is home to the world's largest particle accelerator, a machine that studies atoms, which is 17 miles long. Who here has a low-key phobia of the Large Hadron Collider? I can't be the only one, anyway. Burns Old Town The Swiss capital has a town center full of medieval landmarks, including the... Hold on. Kaffigturm. Ka... Kaffigturm. I have... A gate tower that once served as a prison. Kaffigturm. Swiss chocolate. I know how to say Tobler. Yum, yum. Famous for its smooth texture and superior taste, Swiss chocolate is enjoyed worldwide. The country produces about 220,000 tons of chocolate per year for many brands, including the distinctive Tobler on bar. It's almost too much chocolate in a Tobler on. I wish they came in smaller sizes. They're huge. Next is Slovenia. Slovenia is one of the greenest countries in Europe, with more than half of its area covered in forests. The snow-covered Julian Alps in the north has the country's highest peak, Mount Triglav, which is a national symbol. Ski jumping. Pew, pew. This sport is very popular in the alpine valleys of northwestern Slovenia. Many ski jumpers from this country have set world records at the Winter Olympics. Tasty treat. A traditional treat in Slovenia's potica. This rolled dough filled with walnut paste is eaten during Easter and other festivals. Lake Bled. Visitors flock to this glacial lake to the southeast of Jesenica. At its center lies an island with a beautiful church, while a medieval castle overlooks its waters from a nearby hill sacred symbol. The linden leaf is an important symbol of Slovenia. In the past, linden trees were planted to mark where village councils gathered for discussions. There we go. Carnival and honeybee. Beekeeping is an important Slovenian tradition. The native carnival and honeybee is highly prized by beekeepers. Anna Des Desenica Festival. Circus performers, musicians, and dancers perform in this annual street theater festival in the capital city of Ljubljana. And the Lipizzaner Horses. For more than 400 years, the famous Lipizzaner Horses have been bred at the Lipizza Stud Farm in the southwest of Slovenia. These beautiful gray horses are trained to perform at equestrian shows. And next... We're going to bum, 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 Austria. Almost two-thirds of Austria is mountainous, with the dramatic peaks, glaciers, and sloping meadows of the Alps dominating the landscape. But the country is also known for its palaces, art, and classical music. We have a flag fact for Austria. The Austrian flag has been used since 1230 and is among the world's oldest flags. Kunsthausfien In the 20th century, the Austrian-born artist and architect Friedensreich Unterwasser designed several unique buildings, including this museum in Vienna that holds exhibitions of his and other artists' works. Very cool looking. Alpine skiing Austria has about 400 ski resorts. 
Kids Boo Hill is home to the famous downhill race on the Hanenkamp Mountain. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. This 18th century Austrian musician composed his first work at the age of five. He had written more than 620 pieces of classical music by the time he died at the age of 35. Dancing Horses. More than 450 years old, the Spanish Riding School in Vienna is the oldest riding academy in the world. It trains horses to perform acrobatic movements, such as this forward jump called the curve. I assume that's how it's pronounced. Mountain lakes. Many lakes lie between the peaks of the Austrian Alps, carved out of the landscape by glaciers. The beautiful vorderer Gossausi near Salzburg lies at the height 3,061 feet above sea level. Next is Czechia. Officially known, sorry, uh, this chord is really annoying me, but okay. Sorry about that. Officially known as the Czech Republic, Czechia lies in the heart of Europe and is known for its castles, medieval towns, and several spa cities, spa sites. Prague, the capital, is known as the city of 100 spires for its many churches and towers. Sports star. Czechia has produced many great tennis players. Petra Kivitova has won 27 singles titles, including two Wimbledon championships. The astronomical clock. This medieval clock has struck the time in Prague since 1410. It is an astronomical clock, which means it not only marks the hours, but also the movements of the sun, moon, and stars. Winding walkway. See, it's up there. The skywalk is a wooden walkway in the mountain resort of Dolmi Morava. Reaching a height of 180 feet above the ground, it offers majestic views of the Morava Valley. You wouldn't catch me dead on that anyway. Glass me. Czechia is renowned for the quality of its glassmaking, a tradition that dates back to the 13th century. These vases are from the 19th century. And the Charles Bridge. This famous bridge over the Vltava River in Prague is lined with statues. It connects the old town with the busy Malastrana district. Alright, my cat just woke up. He's probably going to start making noise. I apologize for that. But next we're going to... Slovakia. Slovakia became an independent nation in 1993. Its mountainous landscape is dotted with historic castles. The capital city of Bratislava has a well-preserved old town. See the painted houses. Traditional log houses in the village of Chichmany in northern Slovakia have been preserved for their unusual geometric decorations. Patterns were originally painted in mud and lime by local women. Towering Peaks The Tatra Mountains mark Slovakia's border with Poland. The sharp peaks and lakes are the habitat of lynx, chamois, marmots, and eagles. Easter Eggs Decorating eggs is an Easter tradition in Slovakia. They can be dyed or hand-painted, like the ones here. Playing the fuyara. There we go. Originally played by Slovakian shepherds, the fuyara flute can now be heard at local festivals. Wild blooms. The Turk's cap lily can grow to a height of six feet, with each stem holding up to fifty bowl shaped flowers. These flowers grow wild on the slopes of the Carpathian Mountains. Mountain bear. A growing population of more than a thousand brown bears roams the Tatra Mountains. They break up rocky ground with strong claws to find food. There's my cat eating his food. Next is Hungary. Known by its people as the Land of Magyars, this country lost two-thirds of its land after World War I. Today it is known for folk art, music, and thermal baths as well as Lake Balaton. Hungarian flavor. Sorry for that chord if you can hear that weird noise. Anyway, the national spice is paprika. 
which is made from ground hot sweet red peppers. It is featured in traditional dishes such as goulash, beef soup. Hungarian Embroidery Folk art enjoyed a revival in 19th century Hungary as the nation found its identity. Embroidered costumes are worn for celebrations. The Rubik's Cube in 1974, the Hungarian inventor Erno Rubik created a Rubik's Cube, a color-coded 3D puzzle toy. More than 400 million Rubik's Cubes have been sold worldwide. Water Polo Both the Hungarian men's and women's national teams excel at the sport of water polo. The men's team has won 15 Olympic medals and 11 world championships. Here's Budapest. Buda the Danube River divides the city in two. On the west bank lies quiet Buda, home to Buda Castle and the old town. Across the river is lively Pest, where the parliament and shopping district lie. Next, we're going to Serbia. The central European nation of Serbia was one of the five countries that made up the former Republic of Yugoslavia. Its capital, Belgrade, has been inhabited for more than 7,000 years. It lies on the Danube River, which flows a distance of 365 miles in Serbia. Lepensky Veer. You can see right there. The archaeological site of Lepensky Veer on the banks of the Danube River is one of the oldest settlements in Europe. The site has revealed several well-preserved sculptures and buildings. Oh my gosh, a flag fact. The coat of arms has a two-headed eagle on a red shield. Grey wolf. The national animal of Serbia is the grey wolf. It is featured in local poetry and mythology. Grand Slam. Serbian tennis ace Novak Djokovic has 17 Grand Slam titles to date. His talent for tennis was spotted when he was just four years old. Raspberry. Serbia is one of the world's leading raspberry producers. The berries are mostly grown in the western part of the country. Serbian National Parks Serbia has five national parks. In the mountains east of Ucica is Tara National Park, known for the Drina River Canyon. Very beautiful. Next is Croatia. Croatia has 3,700 miles of Adriatic coastline, as well as idyllic islands and national parks, making it popular with tourists. The country was a part of Yugoslavia until 1991. Pula Arena Built in the 1st century BCE in Pula, this Roman amphitheater was used as a battleground for gladiators. It could hold up to 23,000 spectators. Plitvica Lakes National Park. This vast nature reserve has many waterfalls, including the 52-foot tall Kalovaki Buk Waterfall. So pretty. It's right there. Wind surfing. The strong winds along the Croatian coastline make perfect conditions for wind surfers. Many international wind surfing competitions are held here. The Griffin Vulture. With a wingspan of up to 8.7 feet, the griffin vulture is among the world's largest birds. It nests on the northern islands, including Cress and Kirk. Walled City Overlooking the Adriatic Sea in southern Croatia is Dubrovnik, known for the stone walls, red-roofed buildings, and historic forts of the old town, as well as its popular beaches. Next is Bosnia and Herzegovina. This country is made up of the two regions of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It has popular ski slopes, striking waterfalls, and the historic city of Mostar, a mix of Ottoman architecture and modern street art. Outdoor chess. Giant chess boards are scattered around the streets and parks of Sarajevo, so locals can challenge each other to a game. Natural Spring The Vrelo Bruna Spring 
feeds from a cliff cave into the Puna River at Blagage, a scenic spot with a monastery. I was going to start mispronouncing things again. Connected capital. Dating back to 1885, Sarajevo's tram network is thought to be one of the oldest in Europe. A total of 95 trams connect different parts of the city. Spectacular bridge. Meaning Old Bridge, Starry Most links the two halves of the city of Mostar. Fearless divers jump off the bridge into the Naretva River, 75 feet below. Not me, I'm not one of them. Next is Montenegro. In the tiny nation of Montenegro, medieval towns nestle in the rugged Dineric Alps, while rivers cut through dramatic limestone canyons. With a depth of 4,265 feet, the Tara River Canyon is Europe's deepest. There's a flag fact. A two-headed eagle on the flag of Montenegro represents unity between church and state. River rafting. With more than 11 miles of fast-flowing rapids, the Tara River is a popular spot for white water rafting. And the Bay of Kotor, which is right there next to Kotor. The picturesque bay on the Adriatic coast has limestone cliffs and is home to several medieval towns. And next is Kosovo. Kosovo was a part of Serbia before it declared itself independent in 2008. It is bordered by steep mountains and Mount Gerovica is its highest point. Most people live in the fertile central plains. The National Library of Kosovo designed by the Croatian architect Andrija Mutnikovic. This domed building in Pristina holds more than two million items, including books, manuscripts, and maps. Tasty treat. A popular dish in Kosovo is burek, a baked pastry with fillings such as cheese, spinach, or meat. Champion judoka. Sporting star Melinda Kilmendi in white is a two-time judo world champion and the first Kosovar to win Olympic gold. No comments about Kosovo. This is about relaxation, not politics. If you have an opinion about whether you think Kosovo is a country or not, um, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Next is Cyprus. Traces of this Mediterranean island's rich past can be seen in its Stone Age settlements. Roman ruins, and Byzantine churches. Since 1974, Cyprus has been divided, with Turkey running the north and Greek Cypriots the south. Kyrenia Castle There has been a castle overlooking the harbor of Kyrenia for hundreds of years. The present, its present structure dates from the 16th century. Cat Island Since ancient times, Cyprus has been full of cats. There are almost 300,000 more cats than people on the island. Gotta go, guys. I gotta pack my bags. Time to go to Cyprus. <laughs> I gotta go to the cats. <laughs> Divided city. The capital city of Nicosia split into a Greek part and a Turkish part. The minarets of the historic Salimia Mosque tower over the Turkish district. The mosaics of Paphos. Ancient floor mosaics depicting scenes from Greek mythology were discovered in Paphos in 1962 and are now on display at the city's archaeological park. Copper Pond Copper has been mined in Cyprus for 6,000 years. People have traditionally used it to make copperware, such as cooking utensils and this pot. Grape Candy Made with grapes and nuts, Shushuko is a traditional Cypriot dessert. The grape juice gives it a chewy texture. Sounds good. Next is North Macedonia. North Macedonia became independent in 1991 when the former state of Yugoslavia split into new nations. The country's mountainous walking trails are as popular as its unspoiled lakes, such as Lake Urid. Matka Canyon. Located to the west of Skopje, this canyon is known for its many caves and medieval monasteries and the artificial Matka Lake. And Lakeside Theater. 
a legacy of the area's Roman past. This amphitheater on the shore of Lake Oreed was built in about 200 BCE, but only rediscovered in the 1980s. It is now a venue for shows and concerts. Next is Albania. This mountainous country in the southeast of Europe is home to many historic castles in the dramatic Albanian Alps and along the coast. Its capital, Tiran, is known for its brightly colored buildings. Now, Albania is not a country I haven't got to yet in my research. I have no idea how to pronounce Albanian things, so forgive me. This looks like Tets National Park. Stunning scenery, the Shala River. The Grunas Waterfall and the village of Tet attract hikers to this national park in the Albanian Alps. Star Athlete Luisa Gega made history when she won Albania's first gold medal in the 1500 meter race at the 2015 European Games. Alright then, next is Greece. Ancient Greece was one of the first great civilizations of Europe, where people prayed to the gods of Mount Olympus. Today, tourists flock to this Mediterranean country to see its ancient ruins and explore its thousands of beautiful islands. The country's economy depends largely on tourism and shipping. Fast facts, we have geography. Greece has a rugged landscape. Of its 6,000 islands, only around 227 are inhabited. History More than 2,500 years ago, the ancient Greeks led the way in politics, philosophy, and science. Culture Ancient Greek-inspired architecture can be seen worldwide. An example is the use of Greek columns on buildings. Natural Wonders Greece's amazing landscape includes Meteora's rock formations and the Samaria Gorge on Crete. Wildlife The country's terrain is home to bears, goats, lynx, wolves, and deer. Food and drink Greeks enjoy a healthy Mediterranean diet of grilled meat and fish, fresh fruit and vegetables, cheese, and olive oil. Right, starting off with the... Olympic torch. The Olympic Games started in ancient Greece. Today, a torch is lit at Olympia near Pyrgos, and a series of runners carried through Greece before a similar relay in the host country and city. Kalamata olives. Purple olives grow on Kalamata trees in southern Greece. They are hand picked and preserved in olive oil. Athena's city. Athens, the capital of Greece, takes its name from the ancient Greek goddess Athena. Today, remains of the old civilization can still be seen in the modern city. Shipping industry Together with tourism, shipping is one of Greece's biggest industries. This maritime nation has many busy ports, including Piraeus. Jersey Tigermouth Known as the Valley of the Butterflies, the Petaludis Valley on the Greek island of Rhodes is a sanctuary for thousands of migrating Jersey tiger moths. Greek Pottery For thousands of years, skilled Greek artisans have handcrafted pots. Many are decorated with scenes from Greek myths. This jar shows the Greek hero Theseus slaying the Minotaur. Greek Salad A simple salad of tomatoes, cucumbers, onion, olives, feta cheese and olive oil is eaten throughout the country. Santorini Island Many island groups dot the seas around Greece. The volcanic island of Santorini in the Aegean Sea is famous for its whitewashed buildings. Folk festivals Greece has a busy calendar of national celebrations and local village festivals, such as this annual folk festival in the village of Pefkohori. Traditional music and dance, as well as outdoor feasts, accompany these special occasions. Next is Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a mountainous country with a Black Sea coastline of long sandy beaches. To the north, the Danube River marks its border with Romania. The Varna Gold Treasure. 
the oldest gold treasures ever found were discovered in prehistoric graves in the city of Varna. They date back to 4600 BCE. Valley of the Roses Rare damask roses are grown in a valley in the foothills of the Balkan Mountains. They are cultivated for their perfumed oil. Shopska Bulgaria's national dish, Shopska, is a salad of tomato, cucumber, onion, and cheese. Kukeri Tradition During the winter festival of Serva, men and boys wear animal skins and furs to scare off evil spirits. Rila Monastery Bulgaria's patron saint, John of Rila, established this five-domed monastery in the Rila Mountains and the seven Rila lakes. A group of seven lakes named after their various shapes including fish, eye, and tear are situated near Musala, the highest peak in the Rila mountains south of Sofia. Next is Romania. Romania in southeastern Europe is one of the largest countries in Europe. It is known for its Carpathian mountains, Transylvanian forests, and castles. Wall paintings. Monasteries in the Bukovina region near Sukhova are painted with colorful 15th century frescoes that depict biblical stories. Mar... March Chisor amulets. Every March Chisor, meaning March 1st, at the start of spring, Romanians give their loved ones lucky amulets. I'm trying. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah, anyway. Brand Castle. Some say that this 14th century castle in the Carpathian Mountains was Bram Stoker's inspiration for the setting of his fictional story of Dracula. Great White Pelicans In summer, thousands of great white pelicans congregate to breed in the Danube River Delta east of Tulsea. Gymnastics Okay, my cat's finally going back to sleep. Anyway. Romania has a long history of success in gymnastics. Romanian gymnasts have won more than 70 medals at the Summer Olympics. Next is Ukraine. Formerly part of the Soviet Union, Ukraine became an independent republic in 1991. The nation is sometimes known as the breadbasket of Europe for its fertile fields. Domes of Gold St. Michael's Golden Domed Cathedral in Kiev is a working monastery as well as a cathedral for the Orthodox Church of Ukraine. Aircraft Industry For decades, Ukraine has been an industrial powerhouse producing many types of aircrafts, including large cargo planes, such as this AN-225 Myria. Mir anyway. Roe Deer this solitary mammal with a distinctive white rump and short tail thrives in Ukraine's forests. That's cute. Farming crops. Ukraine's vast fertile plains and mild climate make it one of the top producers of wheat, corn, barley, and soybeans. In 2019, nearly 28, 20, 82.7 million tons of grain were harvested. Young Musicians Traditional folk music is popular throughout Ukraine. Their tunes range from love melodies to political songs. Speaking of, you know, we, we, su we support the Ukrainians right now with what's happening, but no politics in the comments, please. This is about relaxation, right? Moving on to Belarus. Forest and marshland cover much of this landlocked nation, which lies between Russia and Poland. Belarus's rural areas are home to wild boars, elks, wolves, and rare zubers, also known as European bison. Oh my. Let's try this. Belovskaya Pushka Pushcha National Park. 
Belovskaya Pushcha. That's the best I can do. This ancient forest protects nearly 579 square miles of old oak, pine, and fir trees. Half of the park lies in the neighboring country of Poland. You've got to be kidding me. Or it's called Białowieś National Park. Just when you think the Polish is gone, it comes right back. But that's where it's located. Modern Minsk. Two rivers, the Svitlach and the Nymia, flow through Minsk, the nation's capital and industrial center. This book's really tested. Next is Moldova. This landlocked nation lying on a hilly plateau declared its independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Orchards and vineyards dot the country's rolling hills and produce an abundance of fruit and wine. Sorotsa, Sorotsa Fortress, I hope. This 15th century fortress was built to protect Moldova from invaders. The round towers helped it resist cannon fire. Lavender harvest. Lavender thrives in Moldova's dry, warm climate and rich soil. The flowers are distilled to produce a fragrant essential oil. And next is Russia. Which again, no politics please, just relaxation. Russia is the largest country in the world. Spanning 11 time zones, it is spread over two continents, from Eastern Europe to the Pacific coast of Asia. The Ural Mountains divide Russia in two. I don't know why that's bolded. The Siberian wilderness in the east has the coldest inhabited place on Earth, Oymyakon, east of Yakutsk. Here, the temperature falls below negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Some fast facts here. We have geography. The vast terrain covers mountains, forests, treeless tundra, grassy steppes, and deserts. Europe's longest river, the Volga, flows through central Russia. History. Russia was ruled by monarchs called czars until the 1917 revolution when communists took control and created the Soviet Union. This fell in 1991. Culture. Russia's rich culture includes the literature of Tolstoy, the music of Tchaikovsky, and athletes such as tennis star Maria Sharapova. Wildlife. Russia's diverse habitats are home to the Eurasian lynx, Amur leopards, red deer, brown bears, beluga whales, and oriental storks. Let's see what we have here. This is going to be the last country, I believe. They didn't put Turkey in here. Through Turkey into Asia, so let's see what we've got for our last page. First human in space. Russia became the first country to send a person into space when Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gag I swear I can talk, Yuri Gagarin encircled Earth for 108 minutes aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft in 1961. Moscow skyscraper the biggest city in Russia is the capital, Moscow, situated on the Moskva River. Modern skyscrapers in the business district contrast with the historic architecture of Red Square. The Matryoshka Dolls Wooden stacking dolls called Matryoshkas, meaning little matrons, have been handmade in Russia since the 1890s. They fit inside one another and form part of a set. St. Petersburg the Golden Dome of St. Isaac's Cathedral dominates the skyline of Russia's former imperial capital. The historic port city and its palaces are home to world-class museums. The Ninet People Deep in the Siberian Arctic, on the Yamal Peninsula, live the Ninets. These nomadic reindeer herders wear thick furs to survive the sub-zero temperatures. Lake Baikal. The world's largest freshwater lake is Lake Baikal in southern Siberia. This 25 million year old lake holds about 20% of the planet's fresh surface water. Russian Ballet. Russia is renowned for its classical ballet tradition 
and is where some of the most famous ballets, such as Swan Lake, were created. Long Journey Trains running on the main line of the Trans-Siberian Railway Network take eight days to complete the journey from Moscow in the west to Vladivostok in the east, a distance of 5,772 miles. The Siberian Tiger The Siberian, or Amur, tiger has thick fur for extra warmth in the icy forests of eastern Russia. Only about 500 of these big cats survive in the wild. And that's going to be the end for tonight. Next, we'll check out... What do you think it's going to be? We already did North America, South America, Africa, and Europe. Big thing on to Asia. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video relaxing and educational. And I hope you have a very good, 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 good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sorry, Turk viewers, they consider you Asian. Good night.